Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. In this video, I'm going to show you a uh, the way that I learned how to use ChatGPT for Texas Hold'em betting. Right. So this this making this code took me just moments. So here I am using uh, PyCharm and Selenium, and I, and the prompt I uses was oh wait a second, hit the subscribe button and the like button before I get into this prompt. Anyway, back to it the subscribe button. It says, I'm making a tool to help me with Texas Hold'em. Write me a Python script that prompts me to enter each card. It prompts me for all the face-up cards I see from other players, etc. Any card that can be dealt in Texas Hold'em. It will keep track of it. Then I want to, the user interface to be able to select a card and calculate the percentage likelihood of that card being dealt. Can you do that? And this, this is the output it gave me. It created this deck of, you know, spade, heart, diamond, club, clubs, and then all the ranks two through ace. It created this de deck, makes a list of dealt cards, and then it takes in uh, the seen cards, right? And we can, from the seen cards, we can uh, we can calculate the percentage of the card that we need. So let's say that the the face up cards are four of hearts. You know, uh, five of hearts, uh, queen of diamonds, and jack, jack of diamonds. So, and and the card we see from uh, the players we're with are ace of spades. You know, uh, nine of clubs, five of diamonds, and a two of hearts. So, and then we see those cards. These are the face up cards. So what we want to know is a card, and and in the cards from other play or enter the face up cards. We could put in our our cards there as well, and we want to enter the the likelihood of well what we need an ace of clubs. What's the likelihood of that card being dealt? Uh, I guess it's zero. I don't know if, uh, if how accurate that is. Maybe, maybe we can retry this one more time. Two of hearts, three of hearts, four of hearts, five of hearts, six of hearts, seven of hearts, nine of diamonds, one of clubs. I don't know, two of clubs. Cards seen from other players. Uh, Five, uh, five of spades, six of spades, seven of spades, eight of spades. And then the card calculate, well, I want to see it, well, a nine of spades, what's the likelihood? So it's a 2.5%, there must have been a typo in the last one. It says that there's a 2.5% likelihood that the next card is gonna be uh, nine of hearts, okay? so. I can then change this code and I say, can you adjust this code so that it keeps track and prompts you for user input after each hand is dealt? So let's see. Yes, I can modify the code to keep track of the prompt the user input for each hand is dealt. Here's an updated version of the code. Okay, very good. So now I want to see this, these prompts being done in some sort of a while loop, which is exactly what we have there. That's awesome. There you go. If if you ask, him. there you go. Okay, so it's got the code. Let's go. So interface of cards: two of hearts, three of hearts, four of hearts, five of hearts, six of hearts, seven of hearts, uh, jack of spades, jack of clubs, jack of diamonds 
card scene from other players. Uh, call a, you know, two of clubs, three of clubs, two of clubs, three of clubs, four of clubs, a queen of clubs, uh, king of spades. Okay. Enter a card to calculate the likelihood. We're going to do a uh, three of diamonds. Okay, and there's our probability. Do you want to continue? Yes. Enter face of cards. So we can now keep track of the whole deck, right? So let's say uh, in, in addition to the face up cards, we're going to see, um, we'll see, we got that three of diamonds. Okay, and then let's see, we got the four of diamonds and the five of diamonds and the six of diamonds. Card scene, and we see like a, a ace of uh, clubs. Did I already get the ace of clubs in there? A four of clubs. That's already in there. Four of hearts. No. Spades. Yeah, there you go. All the fours. Okay. And you know, look, all the fours are have now been accounted for, I think. So let's see, uh, what's the likelihood of a four of hearts, which we've accounted for in the first hand, what's the likelihood of that coming up? Zero percent. Zero percent, interesting. So this is assuming that the cards are not going back into the dealt, into the deck. Um, I don't know how, how you guys play poker, uh, but you know I don't know if, if they go back into the deck or not, but pretty interesting. Um, and you could also use it, you know, iteratively, you know, throughout the hand. You know, you could do like, here's this, here's the river, here's the, uh, you know, uh, your new players coming in, whatever it might be. So, but this is really interesting code. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you want this code, send me an email, I'll send it to you. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.